Hey guys, Scott and Nate from playercourt.com and today we're going to show you how to beat the dreaded junk baller. So weird. God, you're so annoying. God. So annoying. Well, that was fun. Apparently you're a much better pusher than you are a, uh, an actual tennis player. Great work. Sure. Jerk. So salty over there. All right, our man here is discounting the junk ball. All right, and a lot of you guys out there are discounting as well. And it's actually the hurdle that's keeping you guys from moving up to that 3 5, 4 0, maybe even it's a 4 5 in our NTRP rating. And so let's talk about this today. Let's talk about how we start beating these players. And the very first thing, got to stop being salty. All right. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> Way less salt. Way less salt, all right? And what I'm talking about is it's mental warfare, right? You, you dislike playing these guys so much. It's an unorthodox way of playing, and it's not to your enjoyment of the game. And so before you've even played them, you worry about playing. Maybe it's a tournament. You worry about getting them in the draw. It's USTA. You know that you're going to play and them. And you read a drunk ball or not yeah. in the first round. And you're like, man, I'm going to be out there for three hours. I'm going to have to do this. That. Just slow down, all right, and accept that the match is going to be arduous. It's going to be difficult. All right, let's put a plan together. So Scott, talk to us a little bit more about this patience, but, but one of the plans that we're going to try to implement. Yeah, so step two here is to think about something we like to call fast feet and slow hands. When we see these junk balls, these floating balls come in with no pace, I think our brain kind of just slows down. We see slow ball, our brain slows down, and that's the opposite of what's got to happen. Both our brain and our feet have got to activate. It's going to actually probably take you more steps to set up for these slow balls and make the adjustments that you need to hit the correct type of ball that you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. Like When you're rushing around and the feet are turning over, you can't allow your hands to speed way up where you're just making errors and you're losing contact and your chin's floating. So Scott's 100% right here. We're like, with fast feet, slow hands, take your time. Take us on with step three here. What's the yeah, third piece? Yeah, step three here. I, so now that I'm doing that, I'm in a rally with you. Still don't know how to win the point yet, right? What's, what's the, yeah, what's we'll the grand finale right? here? Yeah. All right, so let's first address how are we getting hurt by the junk baller, right? It's a lot, it has a lot to do with angles. If you're looking at getting the person stretched off the court, they actually like these angles because they're able to, to kind of play the push-pull where they, they're, they're going deep, they're pulling short, they're finding the angle, they're wrong footing you. So angles aren't necessarily our best friend here. What I, what Scott and I, look at, when we encounter these junk ballers, one of our favorite strategies we talk about is just the battering ram. All right, and we're gonna play big, heavy, and deep through the middle. Right, because now there's no angle. There's no work for them. I know for a lot of you guys, you're like, that's your advice to beat somebody is hit the ball to them in the middle of the court. Yeah, but this, I mean like deep, either big and heavy or through the court. All right, because remember the goal here is to take away the angles from these guys. And if they drop back, right, they drop back to kind of defend this ball, they're certainly not cutting a lot. And if they are, it's going short. And now the really grand slam of this whole thing is you got to get to the net. All right, so the battering ram, you push them back, you play them through middle, and you're coming to the net. All right, make them pass you, make them lob you. We're not afraid of their big power, right? So maybe it's the lob that we fear, but if we know it's coming, it can't be particularly hard with the overhead, right? So let's, let's take a look at what the new strategy looks like with us playing. Scott's gonna implement some of this stuff. So just to go over, you wanna knock out the bullets for us before we hop back out there? Yeah. What are they paying attention to? Yeah, for sure. So step one is patience. Just don't freak out before the match, mentally prepare. You're gonna have a battle here, it's okay. When you're on the court, don't freak out. You know what you've got. Step two, fast feet, slow hands. Don't freak out. Put all of that, I guess, excess energy into your feet. And step three, the battering ram. The battering right. ram. Playing right heavy up the through middle the middle of the court. Yeah, yeah. And I, we, we know it sounds a little bit weird. We're going to demo this for you, and you'll kind of see how this makes sense. And just to also address, if you're a low, lower level of player and you're thinking, 
Scott and Nate, I can't hit with heavy topspin or I can't drive deep through the middle of the court, then what you're going to find is the last piece here of getting to the net and closing the point out is how you're going to solve this problem of junk ballers. So let's take a look at the, the adjustments I'm going to make now to uh, beat up on my junk baller friend Nate here. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so you can see the adjustment there. Patience first, driving a lot of balls deep through the middle of the court. And then in the second point that you saw, when Nate's popping that floater, I snuck in, took the ball out of the air, swinging volley to win the point. I know a lot of you at home are thinking, Scott, that's great. I don't play at a 5055 level. I don't have a swinging volley. I can't drive deep through the court. It's okay, the same foundation still makes sense. Do the best that you can to drive the ball deep through the court and not create too many angles. And when you see that floater, we still want you to come in and take it out of the air. Maybe it's not a swinging volley. Maybe it's just more of a punch, but work your way up to the net and close the point out. Nate, you got anything to add, my man? Yeah, just remember, guys, like, the reason these matches are hard against these junk ballers, pushers, is simply because it makes you uncomfortable. And the best way to get good at being uncomfortable is by playing more matches that make you uncomfortable. Get out there and play more junk ballers. Get out there and play more pushers. Whatever the style is that bothers you, do it more so it's not so scary, so you're not losing that mental warfare. For sure. All right, guys, I hope this video helped. I hope you can get out there and beat some of these junk ballers. You're probably noticing as we're coaching here, there's a lot of different skill levels that we would offer slightly different instruction for. And the bottom line is we don't know anything about you. So do us a favor, click the button or the link below, answer some questions for Nate and I about your specific skill level. We can then send you the custom video coaching you need, the junk ball instructions you need at your level of play. So do us a favor, click the button below, answer some questions for us, we'll send you that custom video coaching. Also, if you like this video or if you just like Nate's beard, like below, subscribe to make sure you see all of our videos. And whether you like us or don't like us, comment below and let us know what you wanna see more of or what you liked or didn't like about this video. See you guys soon.